Hey everyone, last month I unboxed my new DJI Pocket 3 camera and because I've never had a DJI Pocket camera, I've been pretty excited to try it out. I use my Samsung S24 Ultra and my GoPro Hero 10 a lot for shooting my videos. The biggest use case for me are walking and hiking videos. So let's go on my usual trail and compare the two cameras. Throughout this video, I'm using default video settings on both devices and the videos are completely raw and unedited. Both were shot in 4K 60 FPS. I wanted to record vertical videos on both devices so that I could compare them side by side. But it took me a few attempts to get that right on the DJI Pocket 3. In the first two clips in this video, the DJI came out horizontal, 16 is to 9 rather than the 9 is to 16 aspect ratio I was aiming for. But then eventually I figured it out. Here are some of my observations. Let's talk about the color tone. For example, in this clip, the colors on the Samsung look vibrant, but maybe not realistic. The DJI is doing a better job in my opinion. Every time I turn the camera around, it is an instantaneous action on the S24 Ultra, which kind of makes the transition blurry. While there's a bit of a lag in that action on the DJI, which makes the video go much smoother while turning the camera. That is an advantage while making cinematic videos, but if you quickly want to switch to another side of the room or completely turn around to capture a quick action, the DJI Pocket 3 might be a bit slow to capture that. Stabilization DJI Pocket 3 is hands down the winner and that is obviously because of the inbuilt gimbal. In this video you can see how shaky the video could be because I'm walking around a stream but the resultant video is extremely smooth.
A few of the trips and tricks videos that I watched for the DJI Pocket 3 mentioned that holding the camera horizontally made the video smoother while walking, and I can't agree more on that point. Color saturation during the golden hour. This video was shot while the sun was going down, and everything kind of did look a bit orange. Maybe the S24 Ultra is oversaturating the colors, but the DJI Pocket 3 makes it look like afternoon daylight hours and not sunset hours. The autofocus on the Samsung is great. In this scenario, when the cameras are very close to the subject, the Samsung seems to be doing a much better job in terms of autofocus. Samsung is a better camera in macro mode in my opinion. In fact, most of my unboxing videos have been shot in portrait mode on the Samsung S24 Ultra or the Samsung S22 Ultra. Let's talk about sound quality. Throughout this video, I've tried to use the sounds recorded by both cameras alternatively. I do not intend to use the microphone from either devices, so I didn't focus a lot on that. But do let me know which device has captured better audio in your opinion. At this time, I'm not sure if DJI Pocket 3 would be the only camera I would use. I'm sure I'll continue to use the combination of the DJI Pocket 3, my S24 Ultra and my GoPro Hero 10 as well. Thank you for watching and do leave your questions in the comments below.